Hello, and welcome to Bill Crother Secondary School. My name is Michelle Lynch James, and it is my honor and privilege to lead this great school. This year, once again, our information night is a virtual night, but nevertheless, we are excited that you are considering Bill Crother Secondary School for next year. Entering high school is a critical milestone in life. It is a time of new beginnings, a time to plan for the future, and a time of growth where you move into adulthood. As you view our slide deck and our embedded videos, I want you to ponder one question. Is Bill Crother Secondary School the right fit for you as a student athlete? Or, for our parents, is Bill Crother Secondary School the right fit for your child, the student athlete? Our presentation will assist you in answering this question. At Bill Crothers, we strive for excellence to develop in our students the love of learning through sport and the love of sport through learning. We will begin today's session in a good way with the YRDSB land acknowledgement. We affirm that we are all treaty people and acknowledge that the York Region District School Board is located on the lands of two treaties. These treaties have been signed with the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and the First Nations of the Williams Treaties, who are the Mississaugas of Alderville, Curve Lake, Hiawatha, Skagog Island, and the Chippewas of Beausoleil, Rama, and Georgina Island, who is our closest neighbor and partner in education. To honor this agreement, we will take up our responsibility to be respectful of their traditions, knowledge, and inherent rights as sovereign nations. We will respect their relationship with these lands and recognize that our connection to this land is through the continued relationship with these First Nations, and we acknowledge our shared responsibility to respect and care for the land and waters for future generations. Now, I'd like to introduce my three fabulous vice principals who will guide you through this presentation. Ms. Jean Jansen, Ms. Laura Hogan, and Mr. Darius Barucha. Hi, my name is Anna Karpenko, class of 2020. I'm currently a student athlete studying economics at Harvard. Hi, my name is Peter Akir. I'm in class of 2017 from Bell Crothers, and I'll be graduating from Western University studying data science this spring. Hi, I'm Taylor Burton. I'm the valedictorian for the class of 2020, and currently I'm at Western studying business. Hi, my name is Josh, BCSS class of 2017. I'm currently in my fourth year studying biochemistry at McMaster and just finished applying to medical school. My experience at Bill Crothers definitely set me up for life after high school, especially in terms of post-secondary education. Bill Crothers helped me develop academic and athletic integrity and prepared me for all the responsibilities that university has thrown at me so far. Of course, all high schools are meant to set you up for life after high school, but coming from someone who went to a regular high school for the first three semesters of high school, I can definitely say that Bill Crothers provided me with unique experiences. Going to a sports high school definitely allowed me to focus on both academics and athletics and proved to me that you don't have to compromise one in order to reach your full potential in the other. And of course, the staff, students, and overall environment at Bill Crothers is unlike any other. I'll be entering management consulting within the business world. Um, and when I entered Bill Crothers, I was a student athlete. I played basketball. I wasn't sure, really sure what I wanted to do. After two concussions in the first two years of high school, I ended up pivoting over, focusing on my academics and switching over to playing volleyball. And as I transitioned to university within my first year, I was exposed to thousands of students across Ontario, across Canada, some in the US. Um, and what I quickly came to realize was how great my experience at Bell Crothers was having teachers push me, vouch for me, and want to see me succeed every day at whatever I wanted to do. Now graduating, I definitely don't regret my time at Bell Crothers, and I think you will love it here too. Bill Crothers to me was an amazing experience. It was where I've met all my closest friends, the best people in the world. I've had so many wonderful experiences here, and I know you guys coming into grade nine may not see the sports we get to play and all of the fun things that we get to do, and hopefully you will get to experience those, but when you get to the bottom of it, Bill Crothers is much more than sports and homecoming and intramurals. It is a family, it is an amazing place where you get to grow and learn and discover who you are. You get to become this amazing person and you, it's a place that I've never felt so supported, you know? 
it's great. The teachers love you, they care for you, they're your best friends throughout it all and I would have not gone anywhere else in the world. It is truly amazing. Although becoming a professional athlete was never more than a dream for me, sports has always been a large part of my life. Being in an environment where others share the same love for athletics was one of the best things at Crothers. Looking back, it's crazy to think that I went to a high school that had a better athletic facility than many universities. One of the crazy experiences was going to Hawaii with the varsity volleyball team in my senior year. We got to meet the UF Hawaii men's volleyball team, win a local high school tournament, and even go snorkeling. All in all, the four years I spent at Crothers really fostered my interest in sports and taught me a lot on how to live a balanced lifestyle. Throughout university, one of the primary ways I managed stress of academics was through playing intramurals, working out, or going to drop-ins. If you have an interest in sports, I highly recommend you considering applying to Crothers. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that Bill Crothers presented me with many experiences and opportunities, and although I'm onto a new chapter in my life, I am still forever a Colt. Although I'm graduating now, I'll forever be a Colt, and you should join us. Go Colts. Forever Colt. I forever will be a Colt. Thank you very much. Bill Crothers Bill Crothers Secondary School is known as one of the premier sports schools in North America. A critical aspect of our school is that we cater our programming to student athletes. The marriage between athletics and academics brings about dynamic, flexible, and innovative teaching practices. Our teaching staff centers much of its practice around lifelong learning and seeking new ways to engage our kinesthetic learners. Bill Crothers Secondary School is known as one of the premier sports schools in North America. A critical aspect of our school is that we cater our programming to student athletes. The marriage between athletics and academics brings about dynamic, flexible, and innovative teaching practices. Our teaching staff centers much of its practice around lifelong learning and seeking new ways to engage our kinesthetic learners. With our students training a lot, sometimes leaving for extended periods of time due to tournaments and competition, BCSS continues to build a variety of methods to support all of our student athletes. Our teaching staff understands the extra demands on our students and designs and develops lessons to meet the highest standards of the Ontario curriculum, along with providing a multitude of supports. Our student success department works closely to support our students and BCSS has a deep and dynamic peer tutoring team. One of our core programmings when not in a pandemic situation is ILIP. The integrated learning instructional period is a one hour period within the day that offers students the opportunity to meet with teachers to ask questions, get support, meet with peers to collaborate on classwork and complete homework as we understand the extra demands placed on our students after school and on weekends. Our students strive for excellence in all aspects of their academics as can be seen by the high numbers resulting in national math, science, and computing competitions. We also provide enhancement to the student experience through the Provincial Specialist High Skills Major Program, wherein students can gain a variety of different experiences in the world of sports business, management, and marketing, and on successful completion, receive the coveted red shield on their diplomas. Experiential learning has been a fundamental aspect of the Bill Crothers experience. BCSS has an extensive co-op program that sees our students engage in a variety of rich experiences. Travel for sport and academics has a deep history at BCSS. There have been sports team trips to France, Ireland, New Zealand, and across the US. There have also been academic trips throughout Eastern and Western Europe and the US, including BCSS students being at the 100th anniversary commemoration of the Battle of Vimy Ridge in France. Whether it is big trips like standing in front of the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin or our popular outdoor education program, our students are offered a wide variety of experiences. 
Although the pandemic has altered these things temporarily, we hope that all of these opportunities will be an important part of your BCSS experience. Once we are no longer in a pandemic schedule, we are confident that we will be able to resume our normal schedule of late start Wednesdays and ILEP. We have this year resumed our October and April breaks and our August early start. The academic and athletic facilities at BCSS are second to none. For example, our students have the privilege of three double gyms a weight room, a spin room, a plyometrics room, and a dance studio. In addition, we have two state-of-the-art turf fields for soccer and football, as well as a competitive level track and field setup. There is also a third full-size grass field for soccer and additional sports activities. The range of programming for academics, some of which was mentioned earlier, also supports the needs of our student athletes. We are also fortunate to have the full-time services of a strength and conditioning coach and an athletic manager who are part of our staff at the school. Our Colt Academy site hosts a series of lessons and videos ranging from how to organize your digital files to lessons on how to write a proper paragraph and effectively research. You can also meet the various departments in the school through a series of virtual presentations. This site continues to grow, so please visit often. At BCSS, our students take physical education in both semesters in the junior grades. So that leaves you with one elective to choose for grade nine. Try something new, something different, or pick something you really enjoy. As you consider the elective choices, take a moment to visit the various departments in the links on this slide. In order to explore some of the elective course choices for incoming students and to explore compulsory subjects, as well as academic and well-being supports, we would encourage you to explore these areas through the hyperlinks provided on this slide. BCSS is not just a school. It is a tight-knit community and family. The phrase, once a cult, forever a cult, echoes throughout the hallways, especially as the cult family comes together for special events and activities. Everyone is encouraged to get involved, perhaps in a club, on a competitive team, or for a cause where we work towards building a better future for all. BCSS students commit themselves to others as they undertake 80 hours of community service join clubs like the Black Student Alliance, and build their leadership skills as members of the Bill Crothers Leadership Council. The Health and Physical Education Department is the largest in the school. The department runs over 80 physical education courses each year, allowing us to be able to offer a wide range of programming. BCSS is blessed to have multiple fields, including a brand new Mondo track and competition soccer field, as well as three full-size gyms. The school is equipped with a plyometric room, spin room, aerobic studio, and weight room. To help support the fitness and life goals of everyone at BCSS, we also have our very own strength and conditioning coach, along with our exceptional teaching staff. Hi, my name is Andrew McCutcheon. I'm the head of the health and physical education department here at BCSS. And I'd like to talk to you about why you should apply to BCSS and why you would want to come. Our HPE department here at BCSS will provide you with the opportunity to not only grow, fail, rise, succeed, but more importantly, strive to become the best version of yourself. So how do we do this at BCSS? Well, I'm going to talk to you about the six hows. And those six things of what make BCSS HPE very different than any other school in Canada. As you're going through this video, on the left hand side of your screen, you should be able to see some hyperlinks to what I'm speaking about. Those links will take you to some other websites with more information as to what I'm talking about and what I'm speaking to. So let's start with number one. 
Number one, at BCSS, you will earn six credits of health and physical education in order to graduate. There is no other school in this country that is doing this. Okay? In grade nine, you will take two, one in first semester, one in second, as well in grade 10. At the senior level, we're asking you to take one in grade 11 and one in grade 12. Again, a total of six credits of health and physical education, unlike any other school in this country. Number two, we will provide you with daily health and physical education participation. Again, starting right away in grade nine, you'll take phys ed in semester one and semester two, and then in grade 10, again in semester one and semester two. That's four semesters of daily health and physical education. Number three, you will be surrounded by like-minded students and staff. This is the beauty of BCSS, right? We actually will be in a phys ed class with 29 other students and one teacher who absolutely loves sport, who have a background in athletics, who care about healthy active living and daily participation. At other schools in this province and in this country, it's not the same. You may have a number of students who are not engaged, who do not care, who are not interested in participating. And that's what makes it very unique and unbelievable to learn in HPE at BCSS. Number four, we pride ourselves on providing an opportunity to develop in a multi-sport community and holistic program. Right? Multi-sport participation is so important right now. We recognize and we understand that many of our student athletes are only in a singular or primary focused sport. At BCSS, within our HP program, we are introducing students and providing opportunity for students to engage in multiple sports. This is not only good for their health, but this is actually going to make them a better athlete and a well-rounded athlete. So again, multi-sport athleticism and holistic programming at BCSS. Number five, we will immensely care for the emotional, social, and mental well-being of all students. We take pride in this and believe that health and physical education has a massive role to play in these areas. We will ensure that no Colt walks alone and every member of the school becomes a part of Colt Nation. And number six, we try to embed and live by a true sport philosophy. True Sport is a national organization that looks at reminding us of why we care about sport, why we start playing sport when we're four years old. It's not necessarily about chasing dreams of getting scholarships or making the podium or going to the Olympics or becoming professional or just winning trophies. It was all about building character, having fun, giving your best and going for it, um, respecting others, including everyone and giving back. We absolutely love connecting with True Sport, and we believe that this makes the Health and Physical Education Department at BCSS very unique. Again, I encourage you to check out the links that we've embedded in this, in this slide deck for more information. Hi, I'm Derek Burgo, the Strength and Conditioning Coordinator at Bill Crothers Secondary School. Since 2010, I've had the pleasure of helping our student athletes work toward their physical conditioning goals, manage and rehabilitate injury, and build solid foundations in the principles of sports science. The Strength and Conditioning program at Bill Crothers Secondary School offers students opportunities to explore a variety of fitness and conditioning options through extracurricular and co-curricular pathways. In our physical education programs, students will develop skill and fluency in all of our fitness training spaces, which are outfitted with the same types of strength and conditioning equipment you'll find in world-class training facilities. Many of our HPE classes also provide students with an opportunity to participate in our Smarter Athletes program, which introduces core concepts in sports science and athlete development, such as nutrition for athletes, injury management, and many others. In the extracurricular stream, many of our school teams and clubs participate in regularly scheduled strength and conditioning sessions during lunch hours and after school, while regular drop-in training sessions are also available for students to attend individually. For more information on our strength and conditioning programs, I'd encourage you to visit my website, www.strongerbcss.ca, where you'll find program schedules and details, an exercise video library, and more information about our Smarter Athletes program. Thank you. Welcome to Athletics at Crothers. My name is Talal Chowdhury, and I'm the Athletic Director. 
Here to give you a brief over overview of what uh, athletics at Crothers looks like. We have a tiered approach of sport, uh, all the way from prep down to our house league. Um, athletes from all walks of life will come here and compete at either prep, YAA level, that goes to offs as well, and then our tournament teams, which are uh, played throughout the province. From our prep level, we have athletes that play in their primary sport and they compete at the highest level possible, giving in a, in a high school setting. In uh, YAA and offset level, we compete with various teams across the region in different schools, and then we go through the ranks of uh, championships through OFSA. And at the tournament team level, we compete with, uh, with our primary sport athletes that will go to different tournaments throughout the province and might go, to go through some cross-border rivals as well. What you're waiting to hear is our uniform. At Crothers, we are very proud to have our partnership with Under Armour, and our students wear our uniform very proudly. Um, as a grade nine student coming into Crothers, you will be expected to purchase a uniform package, and every item in the uniform is an Under Armour unit. Um, our, our clothing is all athletic wear, and it's all leisure wear that our students feel very comfortable in while they attend school at Crothers. The uniform package entails various shirts, about four shirts that you get in, in the package. You'll get a polo shirt, a track suit, a sweater, and a gym strip. All of these items allow our grade nine students to be very comfortable while attending school at Crothers and get them started for the year. Throughout the school year, you also have opportunity to buy clothing from our Colt store, uh, which is uh, run by parent volunteers as well as myself, and we allow students to come and purchase items as they need it. Primary sport designation is something every student attending Bill Crothers has to declare. Primary sport is your highest level of competition prior to coming to Bill Crothers. So most applicants that we, uh, we get are in grade nine. We want to look at every, your highest level of competition in grade eight, and that will be your primary sport designation. According to OFSA, you will not be able to compete with our school teams that compete in YRAA or OFSA, uh, in your primary sport. More information about this is available in the explainer video below. Collaboration and digital literacy are critical at BCSS. That is why we adopted two years ago a one-to-one -one digital device program that emphasizes 21st century learning skills. Students bring their phones, tablets, and or laptops to class and work seamlessly with their teachers and peers in person and or online, raising their skill level and adapting to our transforming technological world. Students are not only adapting to technology at BCSS, they are thriving in academic and technological classes. Students join a highly motivated staff who work closely together in professional learning teams and networks, sharing their knowledge with each other as they adapt to digital teaching and learning. One of the questions we often get from parents is what sort of device should I be getting? These four devices are all things that we can use for personal computing. Laptop, a netbook, a smartphone, and a tablet. We highly recommend either a laptop or a netbook. The reason for these is we call them creator technology. They have no issues running any sort of apps. Uh, there's all the functionality. These range in price from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. It's up to the parents, the personal preference, uh, and what type of operating system that the child is familiar with. The smartphone and the tablet, although they do a good job with consuming technology, they're not great for creating technology. Tablets are getting much better, and some have fixable keyboards, but that really separates a laptop and a netbook from a tablet. Crothers is a regional school that requires an application in order to attend. We thank you for your interest in our school and will walk you through our application process. Although we know most applicants will be applying for the next school year, there is the option for those students looking to come for the second semester of this year if they are already a high school student. First and foremost, we encourage you to review all the information under prospective cults found at our website, BillCrothers.com. 
It can also be found through the YRDSB Bill Crothers page with the icon that says scoreboard. This Perspective Colts page has dates, application steps and instructions, as well as FAQs. Please feel free to enter a question into our FAQ form and we will post answers on the webpage in order to clarify any broad questions about Bill Crothers and the application process. We also have much more information that will answer many of your questions, along with video tutorials, breakdown of the components, timelines, and explanations as to what our one-to-one -one program is, and various things from our staff and students. The BCSS application has several components to organize, most of which will be needed when you work through the application and press submit by the due date. You can find the application on BillCruthers.com under Perspective Colts, where the application icon is, as well as the Wire DSB Bill Crothers page. If you take a look at the application, you will see there are several things you will want to know before beginning the digital aspect. It will ask for your contact information, which will need to be entered accurately so the confirmation email will be sent to the correct address once you submit. You will also need to be signed into a Google account while you complete the application form online. This can be a Wired DSB GAPS account or another board GAPS account, or it can be a personal Google account. This will be necessary to upload the required documents, so please be sure to use a current Gmail account or use the resources provided on our website to create one. The digital portion will need to be done in one sitting and is estimated to, get, to take about 30 minutes to one hour. Overall, you will need to complete the digital portion, answer the BCSS questions provided, both parent and student have questions to answer, as well as upload required documents such as a grade 8 re progress report and a final report card of grade 7, or if you are currently a high school student, your most recent report card and a credit counseling summary. If you have an IEP, please ensure that you upload it in order to ensure a more smooth transition of supports in the grade nine year, as being an early start school means we may not have all the information once we start from all the other schools. The IEP is not a scored item on the application. It is simply a way for us to know how to best support the student. You also need to submit an accurate email for the coach and a teacher reference. And there's a $40 application fee to be paid on school cash online by the submission due date. Please read the instructions on our application page on the website before beginning as it lays out all the components you will need throughout the process. Please take note of the important dates for this year's application. The application opens on Wednesday, October 20th at 6 p.m. and will close on December 2nd at 11.59 p.m. Families will be notified of admission status by 11.59 p.m. via email on January 21st, 2022. As mentioned, you will want to be signed into a Google account to complete the application form. This allows you to upload documents into the form. This does not mean your main contact email information needs to be this Google account, as you can still enter your primary email into the application when prompted. If you are not sure how to create a Google account, please view the slide deck on this presentation posted on the website and watch the video embedded in the slide. If for any reason you cannot create a Google account, you will have the option of mailing in these supplementary documents that would be date stamped by the application due date at the latest. Here is a little bit more detail regarding your references. The teacher needs to be someone who has taught you in the last two years and cannot be a relative. When talking about a core subject, this could be a homeroom teacher or someone who has taught you for classes such as English, math, history, science, or any other course that you regularly see the teacher for, but cannot be a physical education teacher. The coach reference needs to be someone different than the teacher reference and will be a coach of the sport you play at the highest level. If you play school sports and none outside of school, then a school coach would be sufficient. If you do play on a team outside of school, please provide a reference with the sport you play at the highest level. It is important to note that this year the reference forms will be emailed directly to these references based on the emails that you submit in your application. Please be sure to ask your teacher and coach reference beforehand and let them know that they can be expecting a reference form to be emailed to them from Bill Crothers. If for any reason they do not receive the email, you can submit a question through our application question form found on our website. Please ensure you are submitting accurate email information right from the start. As mentioned, we ask that both the student and the parent or guardian respond to the provided prompts. To help prepare you, we have provided the questions on our website as well as in the presentation for the student and for the parent or guardian. 
It is important that the student answers in their own words and speaks from their own experience, and we look forward to reading these in the near future. Parents and guardians are an important part of our community, and we look forward to hearing from you in this part of the application as well. Please note that you will have a 200 word limit to answer these questions in the application. One thing to consider when thinking about applying to Bill Crothers is transportation. As a guideline, to qualify for board busing, you would be living in a rural area that is not YRT accessible. Areas such as Georgina, Keswick and Sutton currently are serviced by board funded buses. If you live in any other area in York Region or outside of the York Region, transportation is the responsibility of the student. There are families who do decide to pay for private busing from areas that are YRT accessible. These private buses are not facilitated by the school, but instead have parent contacts shown here for you to inquire about. You may also call the bus company to inquire. Another consideration is the financial commitments as there are some costs involved at BCSS. In addition to the $40 application fee, we do also have a uniform that is $365. This includes our Under Armour gear that is to be worn at all times as a student. Some other fees are the program fee, activity fee, and the grade 9 orientation fee which would be due in August of next year. Please note also, as a one-to-one -one school that asks students to bring their own device, there would be a cost to providing a digital device if the student does not already have one. Please reach out to the school if you have any questions regarding the financial aspects and the school will work through any questions you may have. After watching this presentation and reviewing our website, you are now ready to apply to Bill Crothers. Head to BillCrothers.com and see all we have to offer for your student athlete. If for any reason you have a problem with the application process, please email the address found on the website and in this presentation to ask about your specific issue and a representative from the school will get back to you. Good luck. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your time and for considering Bill Crothers Secondary School for the next four years of your high school career. Our main goal at Bill Crothers Secondary School is to provide your student athlete with the best education that allows them to flourish in an environment that strikes a healthy balance between academic goals and athletic goals. At Bill Crothers, we are always excellent on purpose.